Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, the Indian Navy has moved a proposal to acquire 10 Kamov 31 airborne early warning and control helicopters from Russia, and the Defense Ministry is expected to clear the 3,500 crore rupees proposal in today's meeting. The Indian Navy already has a fleet of 12 of these Kamov 31 choppers, and as this is a follow-on order, the lengthy process of trials will not be conducted. A high-level defense ministry meeting is also scheduled to discuss the Indian Coast Guard proposal for acquiring six maritime surveillance aircraft based on the C-295 platform. According to latest reports, the fourth submarine of the Scorpion class has completed its outfittings, and is going to be launched on the 6th of May in the Arabian Sea. The first Scorpion was inducted in 2017, while the second and third submarines are in the advanced stages to join the Navy fleet, and the fifth and sixth submarines are in the advanced stages of manufacturing on the assembly line at Mazagin Dock Limited. The Indian Navy needs at least 24 submarines to meet the 30-year submarine building plan, and the approved acquisition program was divided into three sections, six Scorpion submarines to be procured under the Project 75, additional six more submarines to be built under Project P-75I, and 12 more submarines to be built indigenously under Project P-76. Dan Gillian, the vice president of Boeing's FA-18 and the EA-18 programs has said that India-US relationship is uniquely positioned, and Boeing is working to set up a new production facility for building the next generation aircraft in India, and Boeing has a strong transfer of technology plan, which will help India to make its indigenous fifth generation AMCA. He also said that the US Navy is making major investments in FA-18 Block 3, and it would be an ideal machine for the Indian Navy, as it would not require any modifications. According to latest reports, French Rafale aircraft of Dassault Aviation, FA-18 Super Hornet of Boeing, MiG-29K of Russia, F-35B and F-35C of Lockheed Martin, Gripen from Saab, are in competition for the naval order. The 8x8 wheeled amphibious platform which was jointly developed by the DRDO and the Tata Motors, has been spotted carrying out high-altitude trials. The 8x8 wheeled amphibious platform was first spotted in Defense Expo 2018, where it was a part of the live demonstration exercise, and the Indian Army had procured a prototype fitted with a BMP-2 turret, which is currently being used for internal testing, and might lead to limited production of the vehicle after the completion of trial phase. Over the next few days, the Su-30 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force will fly from a number of airports in Assam Mizoram and West Bengal, to improve the preparedness of the Indian Air Force. The idea is to build synergy between civilian air traffic control and Indian Air Force pilots, and this is also being done to be fully prepared for an eventuality. As part of India's Act East policy, the first India-South Korea 2 plus 2 dialogue will take place once the new government is formed, as well as the new Defence Secretary takes over next month. India is a major power and a key partner in the region for South Korea, and South Korea is considered as an important partner under India's Act East policy. Indian Army has inducted the K-9 howitzers that were imported from Hanwha Tequin of South Korea, while production is ongoing for make in India howitzers by Larson and Tubro. Several big and small defense companies are keen on setting up their base in India, for joint manufacturing of military platforms for the Indian Armed Forces.